In this video, we're going to talk about how to format floating point numbers in Java using the decimal format class. So here I have a class that has three double variables, each of which is assigned a value, and then I print them out without using any sort of formatting. So when I run this, you can see I get some, let's just say some very interesting number choices. And actually, let me add one more. So that gives me a really small number. Let's see if I get something weird there. Yeah, and I do. So a couple things that are going on here. Again, remember that doubles are floating point numbers. They're represented differently. And you can see the first twos, number one and number two, are pretty closely represented. But then when you get to number three, which is a large number, you can see that it's actually using some scientific notation looking things there. Also for number four, which is a very small number, it's also using scientific notation, but essentially that's really close to zero, but you notice here it looks like nine point something. So it's very easy to get confused with the numbers. So let's see how we can use a decimal format object to make our output clearer. So the first thing we need to do is define a decimal format object. And I'll call this format one, and it's gonna be a new decimal format. And then I pass in a string that represents the format I want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just include this pound, which says no decimal points. Then I'll create a second one, decimal format two. Here I'll say I want two decimal places. And for my third, I'm going to say I want commas separating large values. Now you'll notice it's not liking the decimal format name. That's because I need to import decimal format from java.txt. Now we have this working for us. So now how do I actually do my formatting? So let me take this line and here we'll have format one, which is no decimal places. And we'll say system out print line. We'll add two spaces at the beginning. Then we say format one format. And then we pass our number here, which will say number one. And I'm missing a parentheses. The format method of our decimal format object takes a double, a floating point number, and then returns a string with that number formatted the way we asked. So for format one, we'll do all four. And again, as a reminder, format one is just one decimal. In fact, why don't we put that here? And when I run, you can see that it formats those without decimal places. And you'll notice also that it rounds the numbers. So let's try this same thing again. I'll add an empty print statement there just to create some separation. And then I'll make a copy. So format two, if you recall, is two decimal places. I'm calling the format method format two on each of the numbers and printing them out. And you'll notice there, again, I get those numbers rounding where appropriate. And then finally, if I do format three, which if you'll recall, we added a comma and still two decimal places. And if we run that with each, we can say format three, and you'll notice now that large number gets its commas. So that's three ways to format numbers using the decimal format object. So again, the first thing I need to do is instantiate an object with the format pattern I wanna use, and then call the format method with that object whenever I have a decimal that I want to format that way.